Yeah, no, I'm off to Turkey. I'm on the way to the airport now. I forced her to follow me because I was just so emotional. I was like, no, how can I not spend my last moments with her? It's going to be a really hard week for me without her. exhausted the battery on my camera so I'm having to use my phone I feel like I always have to use my phone for nothing can you what's she looking at I'll be a weirdo okay yeah guys tip number one do not get a SIM card in the airport. I just got 25 gig for 30 euros, which they said I'd get 10 gig for 39 euros. Yeah, so don't get a SIM card in the airport. Tip number one. Guys, I'm seriously in two minds. You know, I've got like two days to do basically nothing. Um, I wanted to spend today in like a nice aesthetic hotel and actually take pictures and content um, or just use these guys hotel that they provided it's, it's all right but um it's not really gonna do what i want it to do it's not really gonna give it doesn't have a pool i'd have to run around trying to find locations and that is just kind of dread i'd rather have anything on site be able to set up my tripod and not get robbed so i'll talk to the driver about that I hey guys, I'm in my vehicle. Ooh, look at the transfer that they've got sorted. Oh, nice. So this is what you get when you walk with them. Hey guys, practically everybody I've encountered here speaks English. Um, so I'm actually going to Hotel Floyer because I've got two days before my operation so I'm like let me actually do something kind of just smoke around like I'm not a shy person so I'll enjoy the city then I'll go to the recommended hotel tomorrow then I think tomorrow I do my bloods so and just like general stuff like that and then um, My battery's dying, so yeah, I need to block the hotel, so I'm gonna go. OTT. The sun is going. So this is actually a force, but I'm gonna try. I didn't pay this much and go for. I went for to not try. So we're gonna go. I could take it here. Nah, I need to go down to the poolside. It's a bit, it's just a bit moody, but that's no choice. Otherwise, what was the point? Okay, I'm ready. Uh, also, not sure how I'm gonna take three. Items of clothing, heels, etc. down. And guys, I messed up. Imagine I bought one pair of heels. One. And it doesn't go with um, this outfit. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's see. Good morning, guys. So it's day two in Istanbul. Today I'm checking out of this hotel where I was just like getting content and stuff. Um, didn't do anything so there was really nothing to, um, to vlog. Just probably like BTS of my... Whatever this thing is called. iPhone stand falling down and breaking. 
So I've got 10 minutes till breakfast ends. Will I make it? I don't know, but we're gonna try. Here's the breakfast. <laughs> nice view, sun's out, it's very cute. So guys, I'm actually at the recommended hotel now and I'm kind of shocked. It's actually nice. I could have come here and just had an easy, smoother day yesterday. Yeah, we're here now. So she's coming down to get me. Oof, my back is killing me, guys. Oh my God. I even feel like I'm coming down with something, which could be quite risky. Let me get you guys just like hip to everything. Um, in regarding to how we even got here, how I found my doctor. I don't know if this background music is too loud though, but um, no, this music could actually get me demonetized. I don't know if I should continue speaking. Okay, so my friend um, first told me about Dr. Ak. Um, she said her friend came to him and hers looked really good, like straight off the table, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, I'd been recommended like a few doctors, so I still didn't really think much of it. Then I literally saw a girl in Nigeria who has like the same, let me not blast her, we have someone mutual in common. So I like, was like, please, please, please find out her doctor, who, like who is her doctor. So she then also tells me it's the same doctor, Dr. Oman Ak. So I'm like, okay, clearly this doctor's got hands. So, so reach out to him, get his quote. So if you want surgery, um, breast implants with Dr. Oman Ak, it's 4,500, I think, or 4,000, one or the other, chef. Um, so if, when you come from Nigeria, you have to come two, two days in advance rather than one day in advance. Um, I'm trying to remember the reason why. I think they say because it's a longer flight, I'm not really sure. So I came in yesterday and um, the hotel's not included for that extra day in the package. So I just chose a hotel I thought would be nice to take content in. Now I'm at their recommended hotel, which is actually still nice. Not comparable, but still nice. Okay, so guys, I'm with my coordinates. It's really lovely. It's really nice. So she's bringing down some like other um, people that will be getting operations um, probably tomorrow or the next day. There's five of us. Um, so I'm assuming they only do like five a day then. But obviously, I won't be able to like record them. I have to respect their confidentiality. Thank you. Oh no. Morning guys. I'm up. My transfer's downstairs. I'm a bit late. I'm just like a crazy person because basically I was advised to wear like a vest so I can try on different implants and a bar that's slightly too big. Um Yes, I'm yes. going down now. Oh, it's this cardigan, really. It's, 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 it's just, yeah. I shouldn't have bought it. But yeah, anyway. I was cold. I said, let me just pick up anything. So I'm going down now. I'm about to do my blood tests just to make sure that I'm all good to go under anesthesia and actually get the surgery done. 
So I think it's just to test like iron levels, hemoglobin levels. Everything. Oh, everything. Oh, okay, everything in detail. Hi. Hi. Okay, guys. Um, I gotta go. I'll let you all know how it goes. Guys, I just did my blood test and did like a chest X-ray. Happened super quick, so quick. It was just like go there, go there. Like no time to like vlog. <laughs> But um, now I just wait for the results. Thank you. Now I'm waiting for the results to see if I'm good to go. Imagine I'm not, guys. Imagine I'm not. Guys, I surprisingly have like the most comfortable room to stay in. I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't know. So, I, have, <laughs> I don't know what I thought. Like I thought the room would be like a little bit dingy or whatever. Like, you know, like most hospitals, but it's actually really comfortable. Which I guess is only right if people are about to do like serious surgeries, like BBLs and stuff. I think it's even got cupboards. They try. They try, child. So I've got to wait here for an hour for my results to come back. Guys, pray for me. I'm not, I'm, I'm not coming back. <laughs> if they say no, that's it for me, mate. Unless there's something they can do overnight, then that's it for me. I'm not going to lie. One thing I was worried about was my hemoglobin levels and they're on fleek. She said they're good. Do you know why? Because I've been taking my supplements. I've been taking my multivitamins. Get on your multivitamins. Interesting choice of insertion for the canister. I would have preferred it in my um, inner thingy. This kind of hurts. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> So that, I don't know if you heard that, but that's like super insightful, especially if you don't know, like, I think people like go online and listen to what people say, but it actually depends on how your starting point is. Like, I thought I was going to do like, um, I don't even know, I thought I was going to do something different than he's recommended, but I actually can't because some of the things he explained was that, well, you guys can see, but I've got really low projection, just a bunch of things just that don't he didn't he wouldn't recommend for what i thought i wanted but um i have to go under the muscle i didn't actually didn't have an option because um it's recommended for what's going on over here so yeah i'll speak to you guys in a second turn up or socks ah. okay I'm in pain. I'm tired. Don't have the strength to get my camera. It's back there, so I'm recharging. Finished. Next thing is this. They've been trying to get me to use this. And I can't because it hurts. I need this ball to like go up in the air. I do not have the strength. Ow. So slow and slow there. Yes. One, two, three. A minute. Up. Ball up. 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 Hard, yes. Mm. 
Medicine, okay? Literally about to pack this walk in. <coughs> My phone is gone. Um, I couldn't do it earlier, so I'm trying now that I'm feeling a little bit better. No, no, it's okay. Hey guys, so I have a lovely nurse from Surgery Saviour with me now. Um, she's gonna be with me for the next 12 hours. So, right now I'm just doing this. This is supposed to like get rid of the mucus. Get rid of the mucus in my chest. This is to help you learn to breathe with the rest of the Oh. Yeah, it's breathing exercise. Oh, she said it was for mucus. Mucus also. Oh, okay. Exercise. Okay, but it's hard. This shouldn't be hard, but it's hard for me right now. Ooh. I can only do one. Right now, because you're right out of surgery, it's hard. You need to pull your lungs out. So it's hard right now. Alright guys, I'll check in a bit later. Why am I tired again? I'll check in with you guys later, I'm tired. Hey guys, it's now 11. I had my last payments at about um, four. So they're like wearing off. Um, the pain that I'm really getting is from like the side of my boob. I don't know if that's where the muscle is or what. Um, I'm doing better on, the, on this machine too. Look. Okay, okay, I can't. Not whilst I'm holding the camera. Let me see. She's gonna put your eye in. Okay. Love your hands. I kissed you, didn't mm -hmm. This is painful. Painful, dear. Okay? It will take some time to affect. Okay? Because it's the drip. Mm -hmm. Okay? Which one is this? Wuhan uh, is paracetamol. Oh, just paracetamol. Yes. It will be strong enough? Yes, yeah. paracetamol. We do it always after surgery. Okay. Mm -hmm. guys so it's the next morning um i was just delivered breakfast nothing but tomatoes bread and cheese um the pain is there i had some pain med but without it i would have been real finished um not much difference to yesterday obviously i'm on the medication so I can't even tell you what the pain is supposed to be like, but when it did wear off very briefly, it was bad. Still having trouble breathing, so I'll continue with my exercise, those ball things, and I've been walking around a lot. Um, I honestly feel like it's not till maybe two days time, I'll feel a little bit better, but as of now, not really. But yeah. Number? So guys, you know, I told you I've got someone from Surgery Saviour looking after me. Bless bless her. She's here now. Ooh, and she's literally just running me through why I have this motiva. Box. Hi. Hey. So this is what the box looks like. If you ever get breast implants, you want to have the original box. Why? Because it has a serial number that you can track on the website of your um, brand. This is Motiva. It's the best brand in Europe. Mm. And the best brand in America is called Mentor. So on their mm. official website, you can find out if your implants are real, not recycled, not from some other shady place. So this is good proof. Another thing is that when you get your implants, you want to register them. So you want to go on their website and register because if your implant breaks, usually under 10 years, every company has a different rule. So just double check. Mm -hmm. So if your implant breaks, you can um, get a free replacement if you've registered um, yourself with the barcodes and things that they want. So I'm gonna find this barcode somewhere in here and give other breast tips if you mm -hmm. want. <laughs> yeah, so guys, I do recommend actually um, getting a surgery. 
would, savior. would you call it a, a surgery saviour? Yes. Um, because I was actually told not to, but then I actually saw some girls that were had just done their surgery, and it was like, no, like you need one for the hospital to um, stay. And I did because they didn't really speak English and stuff. Mmm. Yeah. So that's my warranty card. So this is the warranty card. You have to fill in and register it. Same thing if you buy a camera or something, you have to like register for the warranty. Mm. So hold on to this. Take a picture of it. Everything. That is something no one has ever told me before. So yeah, mm -hmm. a good tip. Everyone ends up throwing this away. outdoor food looking forward to a good meal i think this is called like bulgur rice or something Hold on a second, Mom. Okay. i'm also in a new room this morning i look like snoopy what were you saying oh, no no it's cuter this is a dana kebab from the south of turkey so it has like you see the little peppers and stuff in it yeah i love that Hi. Hi. Hi, doctor. How are you? I'm okay. I'm good. Okay, good. She wants a Adana kebab instead. Yeah? <laughs> good, doctor. Ah, Adana yeah. kebab. <laughs> yeah. Yes, just uh, the restaurant in front of here. Mm -mm. And I make sepity already. Hi, I make sepity. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have pain? Yes, yeah, swelling. Uh -huh. okay, Different good. type of pain mm -hmm. now. Okay, bye bye. Bye, thank you. See you. Mm -hmm. Everything is way too high up right now. Let me go down. Guys, boobs are like here. <laughs> That's how it feels like. Mm -hmm. hey, guys, I'm nearing the end of day two. And um, I managed to gather the strength. So wash my face, brush my teeth, um, wash my own boots and stuff, just with wipes by the way. And um, yeah, I want the bed. Hey guys, it's a new morning. Dr. Ehrman just came to check on me, check my swimming, and he said it's going all right. I feel okay, I'm off the drip now, so I'm taking all medicine, so, yeah. Um, feeling very tight in the chest, very swollen, very, very swollen, I'm very tight. Very soon I'll have to pack up and go to the hotel, but I'll ask another staff to help. I don't think I'll stay here another day. But I'm hoping by tomorrow, I feel like by tomorrow, it's very early in the morning here, it's like 9am. I think by tomorrow I should be okay. Although I don't know how I'm going to sleep in the hotel. But yeah, let's see. Guys, I'm back at the hotel. Got a better room than last time. So, I, I think I said already, but I've come down with a flu. And I feel like the flu is not allowing me to like... I mean, it's not been long at all, but recover as fast as I maybe would have. I don't even know what my boobs look like. I can't even, I don't even have the strength to take off this bra and see. I, I'm just in pain. Like, it's just swollen. You me. Here's my lunch today. Good lunch. So guys, this is day three. 
I feel much better. Um, but the flu is now what's actually getting me down. I've been able to actually go without any like tablets for, or well, since yesterday at like 10 p.m. So no payments, no nothing. And I feel okay, but I'm finally taking them because everyone's like, no, I just take them because you could be a bit more agile. So I'm like, let me come back to the room, take one, and see if I feel even better. Might be able to like flee the town. I don't know. Sorry. So guys, I'm getting in the thing. <laughs> oh, he ain't angry at me. Bye. <laughs> guys. Um, I kept him waiting for time. I just know he's ex. I'm so glad of timing, man. <laughs> I woke up late. <clears throat> and I had to eat. Yeah, let's just see. I look so rough compared to when I first got here. Let's look at my braids, look at my skin. Ew. My last checkup with Dr. Ernan. Um, I guess I'll probably just take off my plasters and just tell me how things are going. I don't know. So my pain's completely gone. Only thing I'm experiencing is swelling, and this bra is pressing up on the swelling. So that's where the pain right now is coming from. But yeah, I'm fine to fly. I the turbulence is okay. Okay. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Sorry, it's so hot in here. All right, so I'm currently on day seven of recovery. Um, unfortunately, I only have one bar one of those actual like post-op breast augmentation bars particularly with the strap so I've had to like quickly just throw my bar in the wash and dry like just yeah and I'm currently just in a gym top so this is by Dami by the way um I'm currently using this whilst it's washing I don't know if that's like ideal or not but I have no choice um, so I'm only going to be out of it for like a few hours, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys what I'm looking like and where I'm at on day seven. So still very, very early, still very high as you can see, but I can already tell that these are going to be looking really good in a couple of weeks. So, um, they're really, really swollen still. So I've bought some Arnica cream yesterday. The one thing I've really, really struggled with was, um, seeing my daughter again. Um, as soon as I saw her, she was excited as hell. I was excited as hell. She wanted to run into my arms and I just wanted to pick her up and I couldn't. Um, I've not, I've, I think I've carried her twice since being back, which I really shouldn't be, but I, I get assistance, like, to lift her and then I hold her with, like, a lot of support on my hip. But, um, I'm trying to spend as much time with her as possible and I feel, like, proper guilty, but I'm trying. But that's one of my biggest skills and one thing they don't really talk to you about because you're not actually supposed to like hold them for like probably more than three weeks but doctors just say they understand and try and stretch it past two weeks so that's what i'm really trying to do but i'm only on day seven guys and i'm already crumbling so that's one super hard thing that i've had to like deal with um another tip i'd give you guys is this hairstyle that i thought made so much sense to do because it's low maintenance i can wake up looking cute blah 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 no what you want is something i wouldn't even say all back almost because you're going to get your your braids at the back wet and you're not going to be able to like tie up your hair 
this is terrible if it wasn't for my husband i don't know what the hell i'd be doing but i'd say probably get um what's that thing called like all up braids or something or just like a high pony i don't know something a bun a bun would have made sense um this yeah cool it was like wasn't smart wasn't smart so another thing guys my bloating has reduced quite significantly because i've stopped taking the pain medications um i stopped like well i took one yesterday instead of three two the day before and my belly has slowly been going down so it was definitely a reaction to the medication i was taking anesthesia and i'm also my time of the month so that's probably added to it as well so slowly finally my belly's going back to like normal i was really like what the fuck is going on is this a tumor but no something people don't talk about is that and that is like quite important so if you can like eat clean leading up to your surgery um lots of fruit lots of just eat eat as well as you can because child you're gonna bloat 